I'm going to unlock the bootloader on my X10 Mini Pro. I'm following a guide on the XDA forums by Spider X. Um, it's a slightly abridged version because I'm going to make a couple of decisions that might be up to you if you wanted to go a different way. Um, first of all, it's really important that you read through the guide, familiarize yourself with the contents, and download any of the bits and pieces that you need to go through the process um, before you get started. Uh, first of all, I have a freshly restored phone using Sony Ericsson Update Service, so it's running stock firmware with uh, nothing modified, nothing changed, it's just ready to go. Um, the main pieces of software that you'll need to use are uh, Flash Tool um, and the S1 Tool. And you, it does recommend installing PC Companion, I'm not sure exactly why, because it doesn't seem to use it, but then uh, I've got it installed anyway, so uh, if you have any problems then Maybe make sure you've got PC Companion installed. Once you've downloaded and installed Flash Tool from their website, um, take yourself over to the installation directory, go into the, the, um, so into the drivers folder, and install the Flash Tool drivers that are there for your device. Uh, once they've installed, restart the computer, and then run the S1 tool. I've downloaded the S1 tool. It's worth mentioning that the version of the S1 tool in the thread is a slightly outdated version. If you Google search for um, S1 tool um, relock bootloader, it will come up with the most up-to-date version, which has the option to relock the bootloader. So I'll run that. Um, and what we're going to do here is just identify the phone and make sure that it doesn't have a problem with the SIM lock that might cause it to, uh, to, to, to go wrong during the unlocking process. So I'll click the identify button and as with all of these things it wants me to connect the phone while holding the back button uh, when the phone, with the phone switched off. So here's my phone, it's switched off. I'm going to press and hold the back button while plugging the USB cable into the phone. So here we go. Pressing and holding the back button while connecting the USB cable. There we are, LED lights on, computer does its thing, and basically it says at the very bottom there, SEMC SIM lock certificate. Now if you receive that text, it means it's safe to go ahead and unlock the bootloader. If you receive other text, then refer to the thread to see what options might be available to you. Also, it's worth noting that over here, where there's some text there, if you have a locked bootloader, it will say load a version with a capital R. If it's an unlocked bootloader, then it will be a lowercase r. So mine's an up, uppercase r, which means it's ready to unlock. So I'm going to disconnect the phone, close the S1 tool, and open Flash Tool. Now, <clears throat> Flash Tool requires you to, uh, to unlock the bootloader. You need to have USB debugging turned on, and you also need root enabled on the device. So um, my phone uh, is switched off so I'm just going to turn it on and I'll pause the video and we'll come back to it when it's ready to carry on. And once the device is on, I need to unlock it. I just, uh, like I said, I'm using stock firmware so just skip the, the uh, setup wizard. First thing you need to do is Turn on USB debugging, which is in the settings, and then under applications, and then in development. And there's the first option there, USB debugging. Check that and hit OK to the warning. And then at that point, you can then take the USB cable with Flash Tool up and running. So the USB cable, pop it into the device, and then you should see over here in Flash Tool. It detects the device and uh, it has a little read through it, checks what's going on in there. So I'm going to root the device. You can either click the padlock button or go to root and then, or the advanced menu, choose root and then push over the uh, PS neuter is the one for this device. And then basically it goes through, sending files over, asks you to identify which device you're using, make sure you select the X10 device or if you're using X10 Mini Pro because it's going to include the 2011 line of devices as well. So I hit OK after selecting it. 
Um, it's going to ask me if I permanently want to identify it. doesn't really matter because it will forget that later anyway. I'll click yes. And it runs the root kit and then it basically does its thing and then it um, has now restarted the phone. Um, and as it says on the screen, root should be available after reboot. So there we are, so it's booting up and the device is booted. So once it's um, up and running, in fact I can see over here it's already saying that it's installed version of BusyBox, blah blah blah, and uh, it's, um, it's, it's got BusyBox installed so it knows that there's been some of the root processes happened. And in fact, the after the info about which Android version and kernel are running, it then says that root access is allowed. So, we're back in Flash Tool, the phone's on, um, and it's now detected. What we want to do is use the plugin to unlock the bootloader. Um, this plugin menu um, is shows as empty if your device isn't rooted and connected. So make sure you click the device and it's rooted, uh, like we've just done. And then go to bootloader unlock and then select run. Um, first thing it'll do, I'm just going to move the window up out of the way a little bit so we can see some of the um, output in the text there so I can see what's going on. Um, it basically says unplug the device. So I've unplugged it. Power it off. So I'll do that. Power off the device. Okay. So it's powering off. And it's basically the usual thing of pressing the back button and holding it down and then plugging in the USB cable. So as we have done a lot of times before, off I go. Holding down the cable and connecting it. Now, it's basically um, doing its thing over here in Flash Tool. So, I'll let go of the button. So, at this point, um, you can, it basically says that it's uh, in the info, it says it's found the device and then it does its um, bits and pieces and uh, it says you can unplug and turn on the device and plug it in again. So while I pause the video, that's what I've done. Now it's on. So let's connect up the device. In it goes. And over here in Flash Tool, it's uh, noticed, noted that it's connected the thing and it's pushing over the unlock bootloader boot files. Um, so uh, just to give you an output of what's on the screen, basically it pushes over three files uh, and then it runs um, run the fixed part um, as root, then it applies the uh, fixed part and then it reboots, which it's now doing, and then it's basically rebooted device. This device has basically now had its bootloader unlocked. We will just confirm that that's been successful um, by seeing. Oh, pops up another thing. Now, this isn't actually. I think this pops up, but it's not necessary. I'll run it anyway, but just to go back to here, it says here that it's successfully applied the unlock. Um, so it's rebooting again. Um, so I think that this pop-up here is, uh, is is kind of an unnecessary bug, really, um, at this point, because it's successfully done its thing. So we'll just wait for it to boot up. Um, once it's uh, booted up and running, then I'll, um, I'll I'll do it do what it's asking me to do, which is to put it back into fast boot mode again. So um, let's just do that. So back over on the phone. Let's let's power it off. Disconnect it as well. Power it off. And just to be sure, well. Um, run its little the connection thing just to be sure. So again holding down the back key, plugging in the USB cable. Um see what it does. Yep, I'd say that that box is erroneous and shouldn't have popped up. I had this happen to me before and got very confused and found that my bootloader had unlocked but I now come to video out. So just in case you're worrying, this has all gone horribly wrong. It's uh, quite normal. Um, I'll click cancel, and you can see here that it's uh, it has actually done root access allowed. Now to be sure that that's actually taken, we're going to um, close 
flash tool. I'm going to just check the task manager in Windows to make sure that um, there's no ADB process running. No, there's no ADB process running. And I'm going to rerun the S1 tool. Um, and I'm going to click on identify. So, again, I'm going to hold down the back key, plug in the USB cable over here, just a bit of And as we can see here now, it's uh, run its, its uh, identification, and the, um, the R is now lowercase in both loader version and the uh, running line. So now that means that bootloader is unlocked and we can successfully flash kernels and all sorts of wonderfulness. There we are. I uh, hope this has been helpful. If you're looking to flash a custom kernel, then please look for, please look for one of my other videos. Cheers.